how to hurt you the yes. worst. <laughs> if you make them angry, her, yeah. He knows how to make you suffer. That's Coma. So, SKD looking good. Here's a go into game number two. Nixon bands uh, in Italy. Coming up for SKT, first of all. And there it is, the Ezreal ban. As expected, I think that is going to be incredibly important, but the Fiora and Aurelia bans, we'll see if SKT wants to stick with those. Expression is going to be thinking twice about taking that trundle, although it is, as a flex pick, a little bit more wiggle room with it on the red side if they decide to take it early. Uh, we've seen a couple interesting Trundle counter picks. One of them, of course, is the Gnar. And then the other one has been Smeb on the Rumble. Yeah. Uh, the Vlad would be the ban. Coco did have some pretty good flanks in game number one. And SKT basically saying, hey, we don't want to first pick that Vlad, so it's off the table. Yeah, and without the Ezreal there, it becomes a bigger risk to play against the Vladimir. Uh, because many other AD carries he's going to be able to yeah. more efficiently get on top of the Behemoth Plague and start doing ridiculous amounts of damage to. But that leaves the Karma up in this draft, which also means that it will be first picked by SK Telecom. Yep. So could go to Wolf, could uh, very likely go to Faker. Yeah, they were one of the teams that was leading the charge in first pick Karmas. They realized yeah. the priority of that pick well before many other teams. Also, the danger of giving it over to red side is an excellent counter pick, or flex pick, rather. Uh, Aurelia, up this time. Special flashing the jacks. You know he wants to go back to it. Yeah, I mean, I think there's a lot of 80 carries out there right now that want to put their hands on the jacks again, but it's going to be the Aurelia this time anyway. Someday said in an interview that he wants to play jacks, but his team won't let him. <laughs> in for blank. Yeah, Shen, which was such a high priority pick in our last best of three. Now selected here by Duke, and oh, that's a lot of movement speed already, and it could even, even be worse if the Sipper is picked up by SK Telecom. Yeah, well, they loved that Karma Sipper combo for a lot of their early games this season. Still definitely an option. Um, I don't think this is going to be a mid lane Karma, because otherwise they'd be pretty low in terms of damage in the late game uh, with the Gragas in the jungle and a Shen in the top lane. Probably True. going for support. Uh, Faker's gonna have to blind pick something. The Sivir will be taken away, yeah. yeah. I think you just have to take it at this point. The Faker could probably pick up the Victor, I suppose. Victor would be just fine with this composition. Uh, LeBlanc also, you've got a lot of pick potential with Shen and the speed from the Karma, as well as the Gragas isolating targets for you. Yep. And so will be Brom Sivir. I suppose the Zyra is an option if they do want to send that Karma to the mid lane, but like you said, that wouldn't leave SKT with a lot of damage. Yeah, the, I, I, the Zyra would at least add damage from the support role. But True. they'd be pretty heavy on AP damage. And the late game, especially with late game, the late game's like non-existent with Karma and Lucian. Especially if Bang builds the armor penetration, you know, Black Cleaver, Yomu's build. I would be concerned about SKT's ability to team fight, which means that they would be really, really reliant on their use of teleport and ability to play aggressively with the Shen stand united in the early game. Looks like it might end up being that. Okay, yeah, Wolf locking in the Nami, and there's the Lucian for Bang. So they will send that Karma to the mid lane after all. That's, uh, I mean, again, it's like another big kite comp. Yeah, it is. They, they have strong engage. They have strong engage uh, with the Gragas. So there are more options for how they want to play this out. Tidal Wave also can be used as a pretty good engage tool. But Longju thinking now about what they want to send up against this Karma. Uh, Varus would be a pretty big risk here with the Gragas in the lineup. Considering he'd be caught out. Uh, Victor maybe a little bit of a better option. Bring back the Jace. No, that'd give him triple AD. You know Coco's got it in there. More realistically. Okay, LeBlanc. LeBlanc yeah. Okay. That's fine too. Uh, basically. <laughs>
on the globals. And I, I like the fact that Coco's able to run the teleport on the LeBlanc in the mid lane. So at least they have more tools to match and they're not down uh, one TP and a stand United, so they're just down a stand United now. Yeah. Also no Rek'Sai in this game. Which uh, yeah, is kind of a rarity, isn't it? Yeah, could have powered up this composition actually. A little yeah. bit intrigued by the Gragas pick. If you're going to go for a bajillion global ultimates, might as well just stack the Rek'Sai in there too. Yep. But we'll have to see what exactly uh, SKT can do if this goes late because they will have some severe damage issues. That's right, well, it's time. Time to see if SK Telecom can bounce back from their recent slump. Two match losses. Could pick up the 2-0 over Longju right here though. Longju with a chance to tie things up and strengthen their season. Let's see who takes it. Time to get in the game. All right, and it's a cloud drake. Hooray. SKT versus Longju, game number two. Uh, SKT has not had the Drake luck in these games, Doha. Uh, not a whole lot, no. Uh, that, even though they got the Infernal Drake, it was bad for their composition to have an Infernal Drake spawn first. And this time, when they would really love the snowball out of the early game, it's a Cloud Drake. Yeah. Now, fighting against the RNG right now in both of these games. Made it work in game number one. Can they do it again right now? And Fan of Bang. There he is. That's Bang. <laughs> That is, that is a bang. He has fans. <laughs> Many, in fact. That's right. Yeah. Nami. He's laughing. Or a wolf on the Nami, I should say. Um, with this pick yeah. of Karma, Faker. <laughs> yeah. Faker now. Uh, <laughs> it's really <laughs> annoying. Uh, Faker now has picked Karma more than any other champion this season, so. Reprising his role as a more supportive mid laner after he picked Lulu more than any other champion in the spring. And it's been core this year to SK Telecom's compositions to have the speed boost and Faker uh, basically just buffing Bang. Yeah. Uh, and it's worked for them. They were one of the very first teams to effectively use the Karma mid. So not going back to the Lulu like they did as of late showed that Lulu probably not in a great place right now to be played in the mid lane or anywhere really. Uh oh, Wolf uh, missed well his got the Wolf got the Wolf at least. <laughs> That makes sense. Run! He's a murderer, killing his own kind. That's right. Well, he's a sea wolf at the moment. Bang comes up for a bit more harassment, and they're going to seriously make this blue buff hard. In fact, Bang even takes the small sentinel. I, I mean, I don't even know why Chaser and Expression decided to go from wolves to blue buff in the lane swap. That was pretty risky. You just walk into your red side jungle. Stop trying to do your blue. That's dumb. Uh, instead, though, they will get this taken away now that Blank actually started at Raptors in this game. So Blank could theoretically set up a triple buff. Yeah, for SKT. He, he's That's probably not going to walk into the blue buff uh, at this point, but uh, he is yeah. going to be pretty happy with a little bit of a little bit of an advantage. And we do see Duke just joining up here. And a lane swap going to. We'll see if uh, Longju will be able to take that first rake as a result of having more people in that top side. I haven't seen a turret HP yet, so not quite clear who's going to win this race. Looks like it's probably going to be SKT. Nope, it's not. A little bit behind in the turret damage at the moment. We have Lucian, who can take down those turrets pretty quickly. In the early stages of the game, Coco playing conservatively underneath his tower, just trying to avoid the poke from the Karma. Yeah, Faker definitely putting on the pressure early on. 
very far up in lane, but you're pretty safe to do that, I suppose, during lane swap if you know where everybody is. Expression gonna get the gold for the top turret. Duke, of course, getting the one down at bottom. Checking his auto attacks right there. Yeah. Animation canceling. Oh yeah. Checking it out. Normally you don't want to do that. Nope. But if you're trying to get the uh, minions killed off so your opponents get less experience, then you could also just stand nice. there and not try and be fancy. But it's gotta, it's gotta do something. You know? <laughs> it's bored. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> An idle Shen's are a dangerous thing. Yeah, I, an idle Shen is the Devil's Playground. That's right. <laughs> the Devil's Play thing, I should say. The Devil's Play Shen. <laughs> Alright, well... We are going to see the lane swap back. And... Long Chu in their weak side jungle right now. Looks like they are going to be setting up a possible gank here on the red buff. Intriguing. Maybe, yeah. Oh, Wolf. Seen by the ward, though. And expression. They're pinging onto Blank, but he's not going to take the bait right now. And he will not, in fact, go for that red buff. They could be waiting there for a really long time. Yeah. <laughs> Blank just went to take the scuttle grab. Now they're going to have to double back to the red buff. As they see three members on the top side for it. Would be fairly foolish for Blank to walk into that side of the jungle right now with everybody who's visible on his team. Yep. So he's just gonna go up to the top lane, help take out the turret. That he will. But not too much time lost there, really, uh, because Duke not really getting a whole lot of experience, but could hurt as Expression has to run back down, but he will get there in time to get the delightful solo turret. Just what every top laner wants, Doa. Delightful. Delightful goal. Are we back to talking about Scrooge McDuck again? Uh, I thought we were talking about regular Scrooge, sorry. No. We can talk about both, but Scrooge is the superior one. I agree, Scrooge is the superior one. Scrooge McDuck, that <laughs> Glad we could come to agreement on hey, that, man. Doa. I got, I got played. <laughs> you got played by yourself. <laughs> I played, I, I outplayed myself. Oh, well. well, now I just know how Faker feels, you know, when he goes just a bit too aggressive once in a while. Yeah. Play, playing yourself. Yeah, usually you're so, usually you're the best, but once in a while, <laughs> make those mistakes. Yeah, me and Faker. Just go so far. We have, uh, you know, similar issues, similar problems <laughs> in that regard. I mean, me when I, I talk about it. Scrooge McDuck and him <laughs> when, he, when he makes an amazing thing happen. League of Legends. So. Wins. Yeah, wins. Wins all the time. The wins wins so. everything. Yep. Duke flashy dashing away, but he's going to have to flash after the flashy dash. Uh oh. It was a flashy dash flash. Yeah. Flashy dash and the flash. Didn't want to give Long Zhu the cash for first blood. <laughs> Still? Nice little poke in, quick summoner spell off the gank from Chaser, and it will give Expression some more time here just to farm up. Not too much going to be lost for Duke. So he will have ample opportunity just to walk back into lane, but nice little lead developing for Expression. Yeah. She had a hard time with last time. Uh, play on to Coco here. Gonna flash oh, on the chains. beautiful! Yeah, no kidding. Faker stopped up at the last minute. Now Blank under a turret, taking some hits, and first blood goes over to Chaser. Coco, talk about outplayed, man. Wow. Well, first off, that flash on the end of that body slam was gorgeous from Blank, and they just couldn't quite seal up that kill, and then a little bit, perhaps too much of a commitment under the turret because Chaser was there to answer with a flash cocoon turn it around. Fury and Pure now trying to get down this mid lane figure. Got to be Ooh, careful. Yeah. A boomerang blade may have ended him. We'll turn on to the Cloud Drake right now instead. And yeah, that's, but that's a nice timing Drake. because uh, Longju really had nowhere to go with their dual lane besides just to clear out that mid because it was so pushed deep into enemy territory. Oh, calling on to Fury and he will nearly die Whoa. the spell shield. At the last second. He actually didn't have to use the spell shit to get hit by any more procs, but it was very close. Ooh, boy. Fury had just used that spell shield in the mid lane, so it looked like it was, he, he would have used that ordinarily right off the bat. Yeah. But he was probably just slamming that key as it came off cooldown. Wow. 
That's tough for Bang. That's a really good calling, though. Yeah, no kidding. And he is uh, going uh -oh. to be going for Blank. Oh, man, Blank going into the enemy jungle, getting caught again. I don't know why you would be there. You have no pressure. Your either. top laner is at your tier two. Yeah. And you don't know where anybody is. Get some wards down, but that's the second time in two games he's traded his life for a few wards. Already 0-2 this game. We talked about Blank's performance this season compared statistically to Bengi's. It is pretty bad. Yep. SKT having some issues in the early game here in game two. And uh, you probably don't want to get that LeBlanc rolling. I'd say that's probably a safe bet, Doha. But they are. I think most people don't want to get LeBlanc rolling. That That is generally considered in League of Legends well, a bad idea. In my uh, history of watching this game, it seems like people like to do that pretty often. <laughs> uh, also, especially bad when you need your early game to go smoothly yeah. to win. Take a look. OK, well, Blank is uh, wandering off on his own. He has no idea where. Uh, the jungler is on the enemy team. No idea where Chaser is, and Coco. Uh, there's no pressure in the mid lane, so Coco just easily goes over. I mean, what do you what do you say about that? You play around pressure as a jungler. That's what you do. You have no pressure. You have no business being in that side of the jungle, and he gets punished. Yep. yep pretty clean cut mistake, and and you got to think, you know, if Bengi had been in this game, that probably would not have happened. Chaser coming in. They're going to try to make a play on the Duke here. Teleport. Bringing Faker in. Duke so low already, though. And can they make it? No. Not able to. Faker and Blank just deciding to stay in the mid lane. Yeah, cancel TP there. No yeah. opportunity. Blank just going to try and get some damage down onto the turret instead. Overextension in the top lane from Duke. Instantly punished. And uh, that's what you do against Jen. People sometimes, if you haven't seen a champion in the meta for a while, forget to play around him. The easiest way to deal with Shen is just to make sure that he doesn't have chances to stand united. So you go and yeah. kill him. You gank him. You can't stand united himself. Yeah, exactly. If you teleport to yourself, it means you're basically just standing still, <laughs> not doing anything. There's also nothing united about it. Yeah. It's just called standing, Doa. Just stand. St it's called standing in the place where you <laughs> live. But again, and this Aurelia starting to get a little bit scary. Apparently they didn't feel like running a Trundle or a Renekton. And Faker now trying to get the 1v1 kill. Yeah, flashes in onto Coco. Coco very low. Oh, and Faker can't quite pick it up. Flash for that too. Yeah, he did. And uh, one begins to wonder where is that methodical, All right, bang well played though. SKT team Here we go. game one. Taunt onto Expression, the culling popped immediately. Expression goes back in, gets exhausted as he tries to get a bit more health. And there's the Aqua Prison from Wolf, gonna set up SK Telecom's first kill of the game. That one's gonna go over to Duke. But uh, one still wonders, where is that super clean, methodical SKT that we saw in game one? Yeah, this, this one is a bit different though. Last game, it was more of a patience thing where they were waiting to outscale. This game, they're gonna have to be more active if they want to take home a victory, and Coco already quite scary. Expression does overextend in the lane. They had no idea where Bang and Wolf were. And uh, the setup there, good for SKT. They only have to use that exhaust. But very nice gank. Uh oh Bang. Oh boy, Chaser and Pure waiting for him, checks the brush. They, I don't think he saw he anything, see though. Bang, True. tries to body slam away, gets caught with the cocoon, but Longju just not close enough to capitalize on that. Yeah, didn't quite have the Sivir there yet. They had their suspicions, Yep. and Blank was not convinced by the art and blaze in that brush check. So actually does have his finger on the body slam and escapes even though he does, did get hit by the cocoon. Stun registers at the end of the dash. And he is able to get out in spite of the use of the Sivir ultimate. But Expression. Uh oh Coco's coming up to try to collapse onto Duke as Expression does some damage. There's a flash. Coco coming in. Can he land the chains? Doesn't even necessarily need to. He's got enough damage anyway. Coco with another kill. And this LeBlanc is suddenly 3-0-1. Thought it was safe because of what was what had happened on the bottom side of the map where there were three people revealed. So he thought it was safe just to keep pushing up, but again, no pressure in the mid lane. So and he also had no wards, means that the LeBlanc takes a little bit of a trip. The Cloud Drake will be the response for SKT, but not much of a of a reward, a pittance, really. Yeah, I mean it's kinda like getting the participation ribbon in a track meet. You might have run the race, but 
finish last. That's what getting the Cloud Drake is like. Participation yep. means you finish last. Yeah. They have trophies for everything, every other position, but just uh, last place is the participation ribbon. That's yeah. rough, man. Pretty much, yeah. Just get the one that says uh, participation on it. Not that I've ever gotten one of those, but you know, I've seen them. <laughs> seen other people get them. You were always first place in the track beat, right, Doa? That's right. Of course. Where else would I be? Not at a track meet, I would assume. Well, I didn't do a whole lot of them. You know, I came. But I, I won them all. I came, I saw, I conquered, and I was like, well, that's it for me in track meets. So I've beaten this game. <laughs> and then it was on to bigger fish. The video games. That's right. Where there are a lot more participation ribbons, actually, when you think about it. Yeah, it's well, called the LCS. Or uh, achievements. <laughs> ah, I see. <laughs> <laughs> You get to world. You <laughs> participated at Worlds. Good job. Way to be. Baker really wants to kill off Coco. Thanks for setting me up for that one, though. Welcome. I got your back. <laughs> Sorry, NA. Well, Blank on to Chaser. Gets the repel out of the body slam. Oh, Blank misses the explosive cast, though. Went for it. Teleport coming in for long as you now. They're going to try to turn this one. Blank having to flash away, and Wolf on the run. Everybody having to get out of there. Wolf gets exhausted. Maybe they can pick up the kill here. They will. Coco able to land the chains, and Fury getting the final blow. Faker actually canceling his teleport one more time. They're assuming that everybody had gotten out, but with the number of summoner spells that Longju had available, pure with a flash Q, connects and at least takes one kill. Yeah. Not going to be able to get... Probably too much out of this. Faker gonna steal. Nope, oh, doesn't steal it away. Coco actually close. got it. Pretty close. And it'll turn it into a turret, so another TP cancel from Faker. Longshu commits to one side of the map, and they are rewarded for it. They could collapse on the Faker. Wow, if that cocoon had hit, man. Bang very low. Meanwhile, Expression gonna get taken up by Duke. Faker zoning pure away, gonna dodge the Brahm ultimate. Nice move by Faker to anticipate that one. Using the speed from the shield, I believe. But here's Duke. Duke. Yep, Duke coming in from behind with that teleport. They lock up Fury, and that's going to be possibly another kill for SK Telecom. No, Chaser and Coco coming back to save their AD carry. Yeah, nice play there from Faker. They do get one. Wolf will grab it with the bubble. So a little bit of punishment there from SK Telecom, but they still find themselves in a 3,000 gold hole. Oh, Coco. Got to okay, be careful has, there. Has man. a shield. It's yep. fine. He also has Merc Treads so he's, and the Athene, so he's got a form of some form of magic resist. Also, Coco went for the Morello Nomicon first and still doesn't have his Abyssal Scepter, so he's not. Now no, he, he does, does though. Yeah. All right, let's watch that again. Kind of a crazy chain of events. Yeah, and they don't respect the fact that the Duke still has his teleport up. So nice bubble there to start things off, and then Faker does some great skill shot dodging. Look at on that. Pure using the Cloud speed Drake. boost. No. Cloud Drake right there. <laughs> Praise Cloud Drake. He dodged, his, he dodged the Brummel. He dodged it with his uh, speed. With his Cloud he was, Drake. In, he was in combat, so right. no. <laughs> Cloud Drake, okay. He's all the Cloud Drake, I agree. You're right, I thought so. SKT wins because of Cloud Drake. Best puff in the game. If they do, I'm just saying. Wolf, he bloodthirsty. That's his kill, he earned it. Yeah, uh, Faker did actually all the work there. Yeah. So he didn't earn it. Except for, <laughs> uh, except for the very end. Faker abandoned. Yeah, that kill. He's trying to get two kills instead. And how many did he get, Monty? <laughs> well, they were going to get that one anyway, so. Uh -huh. But he got zero. <laughs> zero kills. Less than the support. Who has one? <laughs> now, though, uh, this is going to become a bit of an issue with the Abyssal Scepter. Bank's going to have to be very safe. You can see right there, Coco is just lurking, seeing if he's going to be able to pop somebody. Right. From over the wall. Okay, so looking for that cocoon. You know, at the beginning of that last fight, there was a cocoon, cocoon that like nearly hit Baker. Cloud Drake saved him there too. Poke damage. Coco, they just really want this mid lane. They can't do much of anything else right now. They have no vision in the enemy jungle, so pushing past the river, scary for them. Duke also, something to be concerned about. So I think they're just gonna fall back to the rift, Harold. Any 
Any uh, aggression could be punished by a Gragas ult, sending them flying underneath the mid lane turret, followed up by a Stan United. True. Might as well uh, take a guaranteed objective, even if it is just the Rift Herald. Okay. Expression is something. Has a healthy lead, in spite of his couple deaths. Oh, wow. The Rift Herald resets. Whoops. What the hell? That was odd. That was really odd. Huh. Oh, look at this. It was kind of sort of resetting again there. That's freaking out. He didn't want. He didn't want to die. He was like, "I'm so close to just <laughs> leaving the rift and escaping." No. He was close. Not close enough. That actually might have reset right at the 19-minute mark. Oh, I wonder. Interesting. Okay. Did it like, I'll level I'll up or something? Maybe. Yeah, I'll have to I'll have to go back and watch that again. I'm not sure exactly what happened there. The ways of the Rift Herald are mysterious. <laughs> That's for sure. No one really knows. No one's ever bothered to explore and investigate it because it so. hasn't mattered. True. Maybe somebody has. Somewhere. Probably not the best use of time. Somewhere somebody just loves the Rift Herald. They've got like a Rift Herald shirt and Rift Herald posters on the wall. You think that's possible? They just yeah. drew, make their own poster, printed out their own t-shirt? I think there's six billion people on this earth, Monte Cristo, and somebody out there loves the Rift Herald. <laughs> That much, though? All right, well, they can show us pictures on Twitter if that's true. I'm sure they're on Twitter. All right. Well, setting up for this Ocean Drake now. Yeah. SKT could really use an Infernal Drake. That would be a massive help to them. Ooh, okay. He's uh, shooting out some, yes. some webs right there. Yeah. Cloud Drake. Help him dodge. Yep. Another instance. Of the strength of the Cloud Drake. Yeah, yeah. Cocoon is really close. Yep. Oh, flank. Got hit. But he got the body slam off just in time because of his Cloud Drake buff. Uh, it's just a patience game for Longju. Keep the mid lane turret up. Allow the Aurelia split push to keep going as long as you can. Special. Taking off with that CS advantage up to about 40 now. And SKT. Once this ocean break, if they can... They should be able to get it. Yeah, they, they should not be contested by Longju. They have no reason to. Yeah. Again, the late game is going to be quite potent for Longju. They don't need to overcommit right now to an ocean break of all things, which is not going to be, I think, that helpful with SK Telecom's composition. Yeah. Oh, Coco going in for a bit of damage. I suppose if it's like a infernal break, then maybe a fight it, but not, a, not an ocean break. That, that would definitely be worth fighting for. Meanwhile, Duke just farming away. He's behind Expression by quite a bit, though. Gold, anyway. Oh, Coco. Whoa! Nearly lights up Wolf. Just like that. And we're kind of having flashbacks of LeBlanc of old, you know? <laughs> they do take out the mid lane turret. But LeBlanc versus uh, supports. supports, Nami, yeah. Zyra. Yeah. Zyra, the most explodable of supports. <laughs> really? Faker knows all about that one. He's Ari to just one shot every Zyra. Well, Coco has 100% kill contribution this game. He has been doing work. May not have maximized the CS, may have been poked out of lane, maybe has been roaming quite a bit, but it's resulted in a wealth of kills for Longju and yep. a healthy gold lead, 3,000. You're probably feeling pretty good right now. As time goes on, though, the gold lead mattering less and less if it stays at this 3,000. But Longju is still very strong in late game anyway. So yeah, that's that's the big issue matter. that you've got to consider here is how is SK Telecom actually going to deal damage to Longju? Sure, they don't have the tankiest composition. Uh, Chaser is starting to get there, goes those Spectre's Cowl and Giant's Belt, but it's going to be some time before he has armor, which is when he's going to need to handle Bang. SKT really does need an Infernal Drake, but they're not going to get it. It's going to be an Ocean Drake next. Well, there's still time, though. Maybe they will. Maybe. Maybe they will get one. There is they're going not going to be, get it this time. No, they're not going to get it this time. And there will be a small window after the Drake spawns to take it and still have another Drake spawn before Elder Dragon. But if it goes past that 29-minute mark, they're not going to have that chance anymore. Yeah. But it's only going to be, what, a minute or so. That dragon's left up longer than that, then we will not see another elemental drake in this game. 
Oh, Cloud Drake helped him dodge that. <laughs> you just keep trying, though. So you close. Just, you just keep trying. If you say it enough, it's true. I've been learning from politics. <laughs> I was about to say. Yeah. <laughs> I they thought they call that Donald Trump thing. <laughs> you can't even say U.S. <laughs> politics anymore. Manju, pushing down the bot lane. And Baker on his own is not going to be able to protect this turret. Meanwhile, Expression jumping onto Duke may have the 1v1 here. He's chasing. Duke flashes. Expression, he's going to follow, going after it. Duke tries to pull his sword to him, but there's the Transcendent Blades. Expression needs like one more. Wait for it, he gets it. Blade Surge finishes it off. Expression wins that 1v1. Yeah, and Faker also with the TP cancel again. Just hasn't been there. Uh, it may have been canceled by a member of Longju. We'll have to go back and check that. But. Oh, Bang in a little bit of trouble. Coco goes in. Braum ultimate dodge, though. Bang turns it around. Praise Cloud Drake. <laughs> praise Cloud Drake. Is that your new thing? Hashtag praise Cloud Drake. There you go. <laughs> Help you dodge the skill shots. Helps you land the skill shots. Helps you bait the Baron. Uh oh. Come blank, it's safe in the Baron pit. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> it was a lie! Drake. <laughs> he, gets, he gets out, Stand United comes in though, looking for that taunt on Expression as he comes in onto Bang. Expression gets hit with the Aqua Prison, gets blown up. That yeah, great and, turnaround. Uh, yeah. Right as Duke came back up, they committed to that play. They saw how much had been used onto Blank to try and secure that. And Expression wisely decides just to sacrifice himself instead of taking his whole team, dashing back in and forcing that play to occur. And now SK Telecom roaring back just a little bit. They're going to basically nullify the gold lead right now at 25 minutes. Yeah, they do take out the tier two turret. Whoa, flash body slam onto Pure. There's the explosive cast. SKT going in, get another kill. Tidal wave as they disengage. And I think they'll be happy with that. And this is where they had to strike before it gets to that super late game, before yep. they get picked off, Longshu tries to set a trap, but it is just sprung on them instead. Hoisted by their own petard, Toa. <laughs> you love that phrase. It's a great phrase. Yep. Oh, Blank, dodging the chains from Coco. I wonder how he did it. What's his secret? <laughs> I, think it's, I think it's a Cloud Drake bump. <laughs> I can't say it with a straight <laughs> face, I'm sorry. <laughs> it was. It was the Cloud Drake that time, though. It's good. One that of these times it actually is going to be the Cloud Drake, and you'll be right. I knew you'd come around. <laughs> hey, if it's a very close dodge, it's definitely the Cloud Drake. Waiting for another pick right now as the time ticks down to the arrival of the... Ocean Drake. Ocean Drake. Yeah. Special again with his far superior magical sword to Shen's. Shen's sword just kind of hangs out. Yeah, point down always. Yeah, it's a safety sword. Comes oh. over and is like, "Hey, what's up, Shen? Oh, bye." Do you think the ghost sword talks to him? Maybe. Do you think the ghost sword has a name? I don't know. Probably not. Plenty. The plenty. <laughs> That's <right. laughs> Blunty, that's a that's a great name for Shen. So I'm just gonna sip that. Shen and Blunty. Longshu's gonna get this ocean drake. It's kind of like Quinn and Valor, only much less exciting. Oh, Infernal Drake next though. That one is the one you want to fight over. And yes. They do get it there about a minute and a half before that wouldn't have been possible any longer. Duke now on the split push again. LeBlanc's going to be the one there in lane to potentially answer. Lots of wards for Duke. That Infernal Drake is definitely a, a big deal for SKT. Absolutely. They can get that. They can mitigate a, a little bit of Longju's late game power. Yeah, I like the pickup of Bang. Hex Drinker acquired so that he is less vulnerable to this fed LeBlanc's burst, although the Vamp Scepter coming through soon. Yeah, he wants to try to be Coco proof. Also the locket, so Wolf yeah. grabbing that item, definitely a boon. Blank just building tanky though, and uh, so is Duke. Again, the damage limited. Faker does have the death cap, and it will have the vamp scepter soon. So Karma's damage is not inconsequential, but compared to uh, 
Siver and LeBlanc in the late game, plus the Aurelia. Oh, going in. There's the Tauntaun to Expression. Baker completes the teleport this time. Can they get the kill? Expression trying to blade surge his way out of the skill shots. Looking okay for the moment. Coco coming down. He's a long way away, though. And Expression Nicely gets done. out. Yeah. And that equilibrium play. strike gets the stun out and then plays around that minion wave just to escape. Oh, Cocoon onto Blank, though. And just make it out. Teleport coming in for Longju. There's a tight away for the disengage. SKT okay. Bank comes in with the uh, Yomus. Yeah, they have to back out though. Standy United yep. still up. Re-engaging. Not really an option. And uh, Longju really needs to stop committing when they catch Blank out with the Cocoon. Yeah. Because he has been great in this series about just dodging out so the Cocoon hits him, but it hits him, it, it stuns him at the end of the dash. And they haven't converted that into a kill. So Blank has been on point with his reflexes, and that means a lot when it comes to finishing off some of these kills. Blank also just so damn tanky right now. Yeah. But he's playing it, he's playing the vision game really well. Dodging the barrel. Still want to get these picks, but not a lot of options. Oh, there's a option as we'll six round with that ward, but yeah, you can see they're not even interested in going for blank right there. He just yep. pops in, gets the slow off with the barrel roll, and he's in a turret, uh, or in a ward rather, and he may be in trouble now. Gonna get probably stunned. Yeah, blade surge brings expression in. Wolf there though for the ebb and flow. Yeah, still no information about the other members of SKT on the map, and the threat of the stand United is still there. So not going to all in, but they will have a chance to get some more wards down around the Baron pit, but they don't have any paints in inventory right now. Love the itemization from Expression. He knows that Trinity Force is all he's going to need and starts to build defensively thereafter. Frozen Heart and the Spirit Visage really going to help out in some of these team fights because he only has to occupy Bang. As long as he can just occupy Bang's time, that's the most important thing for him to do. Hashtag Occupy Bang. Occupy Bang Street. Yep. <laughs> Occupy Bang's time. Going on to Baker. Could be in trouble here. Here's the rest of SK Telecom. Baker healed up right away by Wolf. Fury with the damage, though. And Expression threatening to come in from behind, but not quite finding the angle they were looking for. Yeah, they had to send Coco to clean out the bottom wave, too, because he is the only one with teleport, and they are concerned about an attempted Baron here, even though it would be very slow Baron from SK Telecom. Right. Phantom Dancer now done for Bang, so that attack speed is really through the roof. He will be stacking that Black Cleaver super fast, but unfortunately for him, there's no one else on his team to take advantage of the armor shred. That's a good point. Well, at least he's gonna have it. A fight over the blue buff now is Dragon in about two minutes. That Infernal Drake, quite the big deal. Got the Rift Scuttler now, too. Uh, Bang has solo carried in these kind of games before, and that's... Uh, Baker? Oh, it's Sandy United coming in. Blank right there, there's the Tidal Wave. Wolf trying to help SKT disengage, and now Bang going crazy on that Lucian, getting a lot of damage on Expression, trying to come back into the fight. But Bang is right there, getting the kill. Bang is really going off. Flashes ahead, tries to make something happen, but here comes Coco from behind, oh. trying to execute, can't quite do it. Big shield from Faker, saves Wolf's life, maybe saves Faker's life too. Yeah, definitely save Faker's life right there. Huge shield, you can see yeah. that all the AP from the Death Cap doing a lot of work in conjunction with the Athenes, Ooh. so that is, uh, that is a very good reflex there from Faker to get that off yeah, in the no nick kidding. of time. Split he, he second was, decision. He was aware that Coco was still lurking around for sure and was sure. waiting for it, saving his mantra. Smart play. And Expression, man, Bang played that so well. Expression never even had a chance to get on top of Bang because Bang was just dancing out of range and messing with him, just poking him down on the side. Yeah. And as I was about to say, we've seen games where Bang on the Lucian is the only carry on the team, and other teams are not able to do this, but SK Telecom is so practiced with this composition. Bang is also just so good. That is also, that that is also true. It's Baron time. They're gonna go for it. Now, uh, yeah, backing off immediately. Long Longju knows what's up. They've got the ward in the pit. But SKT can threaten at least, and they've actually taken the gold lead back now. Yes, they have, and they may have an answer here to the LeBlanc. They've got yeah. double shields, the Baker, of course, on the Karma with his shield, and then the uh, Stand United also an advantage. 
lock it on Wolf. Yep. Ready to help out too. All right, the Infernal Drake is up. Bang pops the Yogus are going to go after Fury. The Brom is right Bang there. Bang is just going crazy on people. Yes, he is. But that's the confidence that you can play with if you know. Oh, explosive cast on to Coco. Could be in trouble. Passive pop. They're going to get it. Baker with the kill. And SKT, that is basically a free ticket to an Infernal Drake with Coco out of the way. Wow, that is a huge pick. Yeah. And even though he was on the LeBlanc, his ultimate was down. So he couldn't get off another dash there to make it to safety. SKT, free Infernal Drake. And that is the ticket they need to be able to compete in the late game. Huge moment for SKT in this game. Be able to pick up that extra damage from the Infernal Drake buff. And that combined with the Cloud Drake could be enough to put them over the edge. <laughs> Cloud Drake is really most of it, though. I think so, yeah. Colonel Drake is nice. Cloud Drake, that's where it's at. By it, I mean wins. Okay. SKT I just gets a ward down, and then All right. time to spend some of that money. Is Baker buying a proto belt? Uh, well, he's got the Hextech Revolver, so yeah, possibly. Interesting. No, I mean, <laughs> karma, <laughs> karma lacks mobility. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure that's what everybody says. Uh, really not enough mobility on Karma. There you go, yeah. You know, if there's a champion that I think not a very mobile champion, Karma definitely top of the list. Uh, he was know. buying a Proto Belt, though. Oh boy, Proto Belt oh, Karma. Let's okay. see it. Get another dash. That was awesome. <laughs> I love wave clearing. Bang loves to pull. Well, this really advantage not really doing much. Especially with a solo kill, his only kill of the game. Yep. Otherwise, he's been caught out a little bit or just handled in the team fights. A blunty given Duke the dodgy needs. <laughs> Uh, go Good old to Blunty. The yep. Blunty the sword. Chen Spectral Sword, otherwise known as Blunty. Come here, Blunty. <laughs> you know, I'm from Colorado, and Blunty could mean something else I, I in know. my home state. But hey, we're referring to the sharpness of the sword. That's right. You can't smoke a sword. <laughs> we can't smoke anything in League of Legends. That's, that's true. <laughs> you can drink. You can't smoke, though. Have an ability literally called Drunken Rage. <laughs> <laughs> no cigars allowed. Condoning violence while in alcohol. Yeah. Thanks, Riot. Alcohol related violence is A OK. Enjoying a lovely cigar? Absolutely not. I feel like if somebody made a soundboard of some of the things we said out of context, that could be, <laughs> <pretty awkward. laughs> Oh, Flash Body Slam onto Chaser, tries to flash away. Gets out of the explosive cast, but he's still slowed down. Bang doing some damage to his special, serious damage. Ooh boy, here comes Pierre from behind, looking for that Braum ultimate maybe. Coco is there as well. SKT though, unperturbed. Baker pops the shield right as Coco comes in actually. Good timing there. Yeah, just pushing on forward, getting the poke out that they need to return back to the Baron right now. Oh, Wolf. Faker flashes. Wow. They, <laughs> the Faker Coco rivalry is real in this game. <laughs> it's, uh, it's well, going back and forth, attempting to punish him after the exhaust was yeah. dropped. Thought he might have a little bit more time to get some return damage, but Coco is still playing LeBlanc, and that is tricky. Towards the Baron, did it save? Oh, there we go. Nice flash taunt onto Chaser, onto Pure. That's two kills for SKT, and this may be it. Expression TP's in, but that's a double kill for Bang already. He's looking for more. Flashing into the base is Expression. Fury still relatively untouched this fight. You can't get out, Bang. You gotta, there you okay, go. then you can't Just get waiting out. for his dash. Didn't have any summoner spells left. Uh, really going all in, but you can see that Bang is having some trouble actually killing the Aurelia at this point in the game. Yeah, but if you kill everybody else, it doesn't really That's, matter. <laughs> that is true, though. If yeah. you kill everybody else, it doesn't matter. There you go, so that's gonna be a Baron for SK Telecom. Fury and Expression can try to poke this one out, but I think it's a bit too dangerous. They're going for it. SKT's just going to get it. It's a big moment. Another one. SK, SK Telecom. Yeah, they really fought back in this game. Yeah, yeah, going from about, uh, what was it? 
three to five thousand down at one point to now getting that five thousand goal lead for themselves. The double but, taunt, just beautiful. And yeah. then the follow up to the crowd control chain, bubble, tidal wave, not going to be getting out of that one. Coco just tries to kill Wolf is to get something at the end because he knows he's going to fall. But this is what we're talking about with that composition, even with the Infernal Drake. A lot of free autos Bang had onto Expression and only did a, bit, a little bit less than 50% of his health bar. That was my concern in the late game, but looks like they've got definitely enough of a lead. And Expression just can't get back onto Bang in these team fights thanks to the Karma protection and the Nami protection. Yeah, that's the thing is that, yeah, Expression is impossible to kill. <laughs> but, uh,. <laughs> Figures like, Coco can't I kill don't actually want to walk there, do I? Yeah. The answer's no. Blake's like, I'll do it. Have a barrel. Oh, oh, oh it didn't oh, go in the oh, bush. It didn't see him. It didn't oh, see him. Oh, no, Blake, no! Come right. back. Come back to die again. Try right, Fingers here with the shields. Bravo for that. Actually, yeah. Wolf comes through with the tidal wave. They actually save Blank. Expression on the run. Duke in the middle of the uh, Longju team right now. There goes Expression. Now 5v1, they can kill him. They can put the damage on. Focus fire, if you will. Fury uh -oh. has like no health. Duke going for it. He can settle for pure though. And slowly. He's got a flash. Kill him eventually. Get away. Oh, there we go. Dodges oh, nice the top. Slows him down the cubit. Here comes Bang. Uh, Bang is not going to make it around there the time. There goes Bang. <laughs> Besides, hey, maybe middle inhibitor is a little bit more important with this Baron buff. Nice attempt maybe. there by Longju, but the shields. Coming in from SK Telecom, way too big, even though they do pop the GA. Yeah. All right, and now they can just back off and go for the Elder Dragon. That's they can. That's Faker Farms. No TP, couldn't really be part of anything going on in the mid lane, but with expression out of the way, they can do that four-man push, I suppose. Yeah, perfectly safe for them to reverse these waves so that they have something to work with in the bottom side once they're finished with the Elder Dragon. Ah, Wolf has Arden Sensor. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's going to be a lot of damage. On the bang. Yeah, that is actually a very interesting pickup. But oh. we've, <laughs> we've, we've actually seen we've actually seen Faker build it on mid lane Karma before. Yeah, that's true. I was actually wondering why he was healing for so Whoa. much. Bang just tearing through Chaser with the culling like a lawnmower. There goes Pure through the exhaust. Coke over the wall. Explosive cast. Negated by Coco. Oh, gets hit by the very end of the tidal wave. That could be bad. Double kill for Bang. And SKT, they may be ready to end this one right here, right now. Yeah, they're pushing in. They certainly have the opportunity to do it. No more Coco. The shields, too much for him to get through towards the later stages of this game. And damn, Bang just buffed so much. And his attack speed must be ridiculous right now. Phantom yeah. Dancer, uh, <laughs> the Ardent Sensor, just crazy. That is it. Nexus turrets out of the way. Bang and the rest. SK Telecom showing that they are not going to end this round in a weak fashion. GG. That's the 2-0 victory over Longju. Yeah, well, that is that is one way to do things, Doa. It is. Uh, Black Cleaver, Yomu's Phantom Dancer with an Ardent Sensor and Infernal Drake apparently makes this Lucian build a whole lot better in the late game. Yeah. Uh, just... And but uh, Bang also doing Bang things and being so comfortable playing around this style of composition because yeah. SKT has done it many, many, many times before. I was going to say, don't expect any other team to give this a shot later, or at least if they do, you don't expect a lot because really SKT are the only ones that can make this work. Yeah, All right. that is, I think, a true statement. It's very hard for other teams to yeah. play that well around an AD carry, but they've just transitioned the Lulu pick that they used to use over to the Karma pick functionally very similar with the speed boost and the shield to help out Bang, and it was played masterfully, wow. and look at that damage. Yep, well, what do you expect? Lucian really uh, putting out the DPS. But you can really see what I was concerned about, considering that, uh, you know, we do see LeBlanc, Sivir, and Irelia doing more damage than their counterparts. Yeah. Or, except for Sivir, but obviously, but that is the concern, is that you actually if Lucian dies, which admittedly is hard to do, especially with how well Bang was playing those team fights, particularly against Expression. That yeah. was the big key, is that Expression never had the chance to really get in and uh, ruin Bang's day. Everybody loves Bang. But I got to say, uh, Faker looked 
looked like it, his old self again today, finally. You know, not yeah, very good. making a lot of mistakes as we saw in the last two matches. And so going forward, I guess we'll have to see what happens next time. But SKT seemed to be back on track. There's our lovely logo. Who's the MVP? It's Bang, of course. Of course it was. Yeah. Well deserved. Of course it was. And he gets an F on his shirt. Oh, well. F for freaking good. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what the F is for. That's right. Let's uh, take a look at some of his replays, the highlights from this game. That was a really well set up gank. Especially running out, running out of mana there at the end too, so not much he's going to be able to do with fancy dancing to get away from that wave. These are actually not very interesting highlights, just like special oh. dying. Oh, there you go. Culling. Got a kill with that. This is the fight that I think was really impressive from no, it wasn't. Yeah, this one from Bang. Just watch the way he handles Expression, and he's just constantly dodging in and out of range and daring Expression he's to so come fast. in. Yeah, he's so fast. That a sick taunt from Duke to really set up the end of this one. And at that point, go, 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 go dude, he's bang, he was dead no matter what. So you got to at least give it a shot and see if you can prevent them from doing the Baron. I suppose. Uh, yep. Lucian does a lot of damage. Blank was like the king of getting caught and then living that game. I just like the attack speed Lucian build. That is a that's a fun one to watch and Bang executing it. Well, that's right. So it's interview time. You have to see what uh, Faker and Bang have to say. And Steven's going to be translating for us as usual. Yeah, thank you very much, Sean and Monte, for a great cast for today's match. Now we're moving into the booth with winner of today's match, SKT1. And since SKT were suffering from two successive defeats, they have won to this match, and it's great opportunity for them to change their atmosphere. And let's hear from our two MVP for today's match, Faker and Bang. Uh, uh, the Faker were saying that this was very special game for today's match because it's almost end of the first ma uh, first round and it was pretty special and we took the win. Now um, the Cloud Temper asking Bang about how the game were going and then Bang's are pretty satisfied with his match for today. And he's quite not satisfied in the part that in the first match he has some mistake because all, all the time he were thinking about the, the skill from the other side. It quite in, in this video clip, he said that when he were playing, he quite missed, uh, he, he got the shot from the pure, and he was pretty not satisfied, but. Because they were keep coming and coming. Now they're all like keep they're talking about the highlight right now. And then Banks keep um blaming himself that he, he should have dodged that. He should have moved away from it, but he, he couldn't. So he's not satisfied with that, but Cloud Templar and Dongjun said you tried to be too perfect for that. But it, it was pretty good that what Dongjun said sometime you make mistake. But Ben keeps saying that I, I should have been, I should not get hit by that. That was my mistake. And I feel, I still feel bad about it. Uh, Faker said next time, next time, all of us, all three of us should move away from Bang because Bang keep trying to be a perfect. Uh, now Bang saying that I don't want to use Flash because it's too wasteful. And then the Fakers keep looking at him, he's like, oh no. <laughs> Now Dong Jun saying that SKT had very bad this day with a uh, successive defeat. But today you guys have shown the a different performance compared to the last two games. Now Faker is saying that we didn't change any like practice or any our style, but we we're just wondering why why have we lost another two games that we had take before. 
But we are better than the last two games, but still we need to more wor work hard on it. We want to be perfect in every game, so... Now Cloud Templating, uh, Cloud Templar is complimenting Bang using Israel. So, so Cloud Templar asking, you have a confidence using Israel during the bottom lane because you have shown the perfect performance during throughout the games. And Bang is saying that. I can get a lot of farming during the game, even I use Israel. It's not difficult to play as a lane, but, but sometimes there are a lot of pressure from the other jungler, or those kind of pressure can be um, some influence, but still, it's very, it's a great champion to use Israel in the lane, so that's why I keep using it, and my, te my teammates are really backing me up a lot, so I think it's a great champion to use. So these days, Dong Jin saying that the, after the new patch, the Lucian is not a pretty good pick, but you have shown a great performance today. <laughs> And Bang is saying that a last game I have lost because of using a Lucian pick, but there was it was pretty good in the beginning of the lane fight, but it's difficult to maintain that. But today I have shown a great performance overall. So I think the Lucian is kind of strong in the beginning of the lane. Maybe it can be helpful in the team fight during the in the end of the game, but still after the patch it's kind of difficult for me to use it compared to the pick that I use is Israel. So the Cloud Templar is like the combination between you and Faker, kind of like Karma, Israel, those kind of combinations kind of really fit to it. And then Faker is uh, saying that, oh, um, it's not because of combinations, it's because of me. <laughs> and also, also, be, also, it's because of Bang, but still, it's it's kind of like what I did was kind of helpful to the team. And they're they're kind of make they're kind of making tease like make fun of each other. And now Dong Jin's com uh, complimenting Faker using Anivia in the first game. Now Faker is saying that. Uh, the coach is actually, uh, it's not the reason I love Anivia to use, but the coach actually uh, want me to use Anivia for as a team. And then there was a perfect uh, ultimate, and also there are a lot of great skill from uh, Duke. So that's why I think the pick from the first match, Anivia, was a pretty good pick. And that's why I got the quadra kill for today. So I give a lot of compliment to my team. So now Cloud Temper is that the these days in SKT1, Bang and Faker are like the most top player and like getting all the high uh, like a spotlight. So did anything say spoken from Wolf? Anything? And Bang says that Wolf is pretty good, but he makes some mistakes. But like, if we say that like a position like supporter is hard to get a spotlight, but I think Wolf's doing a pretty good job supporting me a lot. So he's saying to all the fans and the people who are watching the game, don't just focus on some like certain player that make a highlight or getting a spotlight. Just focus on the all the team and pr pretty much other than like us right now doing getting MVP like Wolf, Duke, Blank. Everyone's doing a great job. So. I think yeah, he's saying that all of us are doing great. <laughs> We're all good. So I think there's no particular spotlight. 
Now Dong Yun saying that you guys had a difficult time in the second match. So in the what part you think that we should, we're gonna win? We like which part? In the what time period you guys think that it's time for us to fight back? And then Faker said there's no certain time, but after winning a some some team fight against Longju. So we we had a certainty of winning to this game, but still we were very careful because we had lost the two, last two game, very oh very doubt. So we we're keep carefully fight back, and that's why it's the point that we won this match. So what kind of call we're going during the team fight? Because Blank have shown a very dangerous play. So Faker, uh, uh, Faker said that I, I had a feeling that there will be a uh, Coco in the other bush. He's maybe hiding after the blank got caught by other team. So I told my teammate to keep watch on the bush and look after the LeBlanc coming in. So those kind of calls were going on during our team fight. We were very careful with it. <laughs> he said that in, in this highlight right now is showing we we didn't worry about blank even even blank work we got hit got hit there we still had an idea we had a chance so we got in in the team fight it was great ultimate from Lucian so we, we had a lot of trust on each other, so that's what really helped in the team fight. So Cloud Templars, Cloud Templar saying that there was the part when Expression made a solo kill against Duke. The Bang is saying that uh, Bang, uh, Duke had a call on us that please help me, help me out, look after, but everyone's just say you're gonna die anyway, so we're gonna focus on the lane. So Bang just said that uh, Shen rather die in the top lane, it will be helpful for team, so we didn't help, we didn't help him out. Bang said, if he don't die, it'll be awesome, but if he's gonna die anyway, so what's the point of we're going there? So, just it'll be better for us to push the lane. <laughs> and then Dongjun's very, like, shocking about what he's saying, but... But Bang keeps saying, like, it's, it's okay, we won the game anyway. It's still good. And Faker is very, very, don't know what to say right now. <laughs> but Faker said, Faker said to Bang that, oh, but we still should have looked after him. And then Bang's like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> and then Bang just says he's joking, but it was joking, but still, it was the best option that we could take while the chance were almost got killed and get killed by Irelia at that time. So, is there any harsh feeling for Duke? So, so Dong Jun saying that you guys have last game for against ESC ever. Any comment for the your fans and the people watching the game right now? And then Faker said after today's match, after two successive defeat, we came back to the top rank. And we're very happy and keep cheering on us. We're gonna keep practice more and we'll come back and second round after finish ESC, ESC ever next game. And I think that's it for today's interview and thank you very much. Back to you guys. All right, thanks again for translating Steven and SK Telecom with their 2-0 victory over Longju. And looking pretty good doing it too. Yes, they did. In that second game with the buffed up bang took home the win. That's right. Buffed up bang. Scary stuff, man. He got buff in real life. Worked out a lot, lost a lot of weight. Now he's been buffed in game, too. Yeah. He's like, well, now I'm truly buff. The mega buff. And with that, with that buff, <laughs> SK Telecom jumping back up to first place.
tied in match score 6 and 2 with the Rocks Tigers, but they do have a substantially higher game score right now at plus 9. And we'll see if they can hold on to that as uh, they near the end of the round robin, or the first round of the round robin. The first round robin, yes, indeed. Yep. One match left for SKT. That's right, and tomorrow, our final day of the week, CJ Antis taking on KT Rolster, and then Rocks Tigers versus Africa Freaks. And, you know, I guess with Africa's victory over SK Telecom this week, that one might be kind of interesting. Yeah, KT looking great they these really days, are. though. Very clean in their approach. Someday yeah. doing some nice carrying out of the top lane. So I have to think that that's probably going to go KT's direction. You'd think so, yeah. But uh, the second match, definitely pretty interesting, uh, given the Rocks Tigers looking like they're on an upswing. Africa coming up that really convincing win over SK Telecom. Yeah. Should be an exciting match tomorrow. The Africa Freaks SKT match, tough to tell if that was SKT just being bad or Africa being good. We'll find out tomorrow, guys. Join us for more LCK Summer here on OGN. From Seoul, South Korea, Dylan Monte Cristo saying goodnight. We'll see you tomorrow for the next match. Bye.